Thanks so much. All right, thank you there, George. Hey, appreciate that. Great advice. And uh, Rick Crossland's here, our science hey guys. guy. Rick, we're going to get into it. Sure. We're talking about Christmas lights. Christmas lights. So, you know, I'm a teacher, and uh, yes, you kids are. love making electric circuits. And the, the, my trick is I have a 1,000 fourth graders, so I can't oh. buy the $7 electric circuit Ooh. kit. That's uh, a lot of fourth graders. It is. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but if you look at electric, uh, your Christmas lights, I like to recycle things. And so we're going to do a little electric circuit. I guarantee you everybody who tries this will love it. So for electric okay. circuit, basically... This is a, a language that, if you know this language, you can make a lot of money. This stands for a light bulb and a switch and a battery. This is a language that I think all kids should know because they might want to be an electrician when they grow up. Absolutely. And you yep. see this path that goes all through here. So by taking some Christmas tree lights, I cut this one out. And if you're like me, the LED lights are the new, new fan. They sure are. Yes. Less energy. They don't burn out. It's called a light-emitting diode, which is LED. It's kind of fancy, which means it works one way and not the other way. So, so, so if you lose a light, the rest of them still stay on? That, that is what's... Well, so I start with a simple circuit. So if you break this circuit, like right here, yeah. the light should not work. We can try that. Here's my simple circuit with a battery. And we're, what are we using for the path here? the aluminum foil aluminum, yeah, okay. and I'm gonna hook this to this other end of this battery right here yep. and so no light but if you would uh, Randy go ahead and let's close the switch so so just kind of close it and what happens ah there, oh, we, there go. we go ah. so this is an oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, th this is conduction and there was a scientist by the name that's of so Stephen cool. Gray is the father of electricity and if you can imagine in the 1700s when the electricity was static electricity, mm -hmm. they wondered, could it go? Hmm. And so he invented or came up with the word conduction, and the opposite of conduction is insulation. So if you have a, a wire like this, uh, you, you have the rubber part, which is insulation, and the copper, which is the conduction. Now, if you notice, Randy, I, you, you mentioned your lights go out and you can't find them. Well, yeah. <laughs> if you notice, this light has four paths. It's supposed to be a parallel circuit if one goes out. But let's see if this will work. Let's get our battery over here. And I'm using, here's, here's one, uh, when, when kids do this, there's 20 ways it goes wrong. But once they solve it, it's a really quite successful. So an LED, it'll work one way but not the other. So it's not working that way. A lot nope. of kids will give yep. up. So let's reverse it and see if it works, it works this way. Let's squeeze on the ends there and uh, let's try that one. He says it works. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the thing. What could I'd, possibly go wrong? Uh, uh, well, I never give up on science. Yep. There we go. Ah. There you go. Yeah. So if it doesn't work, there's a loose connection yeah. somewhere. Okay. But, you know, you, you can't say that Stephen Gray is the father of electricity because electricity has been all around. Our muscles, we, we have electricity in us. I mean, we can't move without electricity. Yeah. And, for example, I have this very special uh, conduction conduction uh, uh, apparatus. So, Amber, hold, hold mm -hmm. my hand here. Okay. Let's see. And uh, uh, let's see. Hold that right there. Okay. Have we completed the circuit yet? No, not nope. yet. Uh, Randy, let me... Randy, if you grab the other end of the metal part, let's see what happens, and, uh... Oh! Wow. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> I hope that. So wow. I, that is so, so cool! Go, so try it. There you go. Yes. So cool. even your human body is electric, a, conductor a conductor of electricity. Yeah. If you lift one up, let me see. Let me hold this hand. Uh, let's see. Hold here, and let me touch you on the nose to see if this works here. No. You have no electricity. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There must have been some insulation. Um, you know, I'm insulated. You're I'm insulated. insulated. Yeah, the, but you can do this, make a Christmas <laughs> card neat. out of it, and have some fun with the kids. And you can learn a lot about electricity, like Thomas Edison and the light bulb. I always start by making the di diagram of a light bulb. Electricity goes in, comes up one post, across the filament, and out. And so when a Very bulb cool. goes out, it's usually the filament. So just a few things, have a lot of fun with LED lights. I will tell you these won't work unless you have, these are 3.4 volts. So most batteries are one and a half volt. Right, right. So you'll need two to okay. get it to work. Makes but um, okay. Yeah, so. Chef Rick or Watch Chef this, Rick. Rick. Hey, Amber, I have an idea. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I have an idea. Oh, yes. Randy. Uh, George, we, we, can't, we can't let him go because then it just, it won't end. Right? It just won't end. Oh, boy. Uh.